Hello everyone. Let, let me continue explaining how to work with Google Forms in order to create um, assignments or tests or quizzes for your for your classes. On previous video, I explained the templates we can use. I chose uh, one to design specific for an exam on the on the category of education, and later on, I navigate through how can I create or you, you can create questions or add more sections. So this is my, my exam, how, is look, how uh, it looks like right now. I just uh, decided to work on one, two, three, four, five questions, thinking that this is a test, right, in which I'm going to evaluate different, I mean, skills and grammar. Uh, this is optional. You use, are going to work on the reading skill and then you just have the reading and you have two or three questions, that's fine. Uh, or writing or reading, I mean, it's up to you. But I just, I'm doing it this way so you can see the different sections we can all have uh, here. Talking about listening, I have the, 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 um, the section and then I can add a description for the section like, I don't know, please watch the video and answer the questions right and then i just start adding questions so maybe my question will be but first of all i had to add my video i said add video i already had my video chosen i look for it it's a listening exercise and i'm going to use as an example I select it and then now it's in there. So it says listening, I mean, listening. Or you can write, for example, video for listening questions, right? I will move it right here because so, I want my students first look at the video and then answer. I have my question and I can say, even so, um, you probably in the video have exercises or it's just a simple video, it could be any conversation. Uh, I, I chose a video with exercises inside, right? But it could be a conversation, it could be a short video, two minutes, one minute, and a real context conversation and just... I start asking questions like, uh, what does the woman like? And then I have different options, no? It could be my first option, I'm just guessing. But, uh, I mean, of course you have to do it manual. Um, I'm just guessing and remember the recommendation for a, for a multiple choice question uh, is to have four options two to be um, distractors and then maybe I mean the correct one and one that is pretty similar or it could be even the opposite from 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 the right one so probably I can um, Right, and just remember that it's very important that in clave de respuestas or the answer key, just you have to choose what's the correct answer, and then the points you are going to assign for that question. It is the correct answer one point, and then if I'm going to continue with this with the same format, I'm just I just copy and paste, and then. I just overwrite on the question, right? But this time, this is not the correct one, probably it's this one, and one point. And then you, I have for this section, my video, two questions with, multi, with different answers, and it means that for my total exam, I'm just grading two points. And then I can add, uh, similar one but at this time 
probably will be you know different I mean one or two options so I go clave de respuestas and this will be the answer the answers but since I have to choose I have to choose two answers probably I'm grinding two points right so I have my listening section with the video and then the questions that I need with the multiple options that I had to tell Google Forms which one is going to be the correct answer I'm always checking so I have my first section and then the second section which is going to be the listening I can play the video In a like I said any video I just chose I mean any video Car. but it could be a conversation I told you enough times um, there are what is available on YouTube and then and then next and that's the way I'm going to continue in the next section so this is how my students will see it but but as, as you saw the video we'll be back to you as soon as anything there. happens they can watch it they can even um, make it as a regular YouTube video and then answer the questions and I have my first section which is about listening I go back to my exam and the good thing about Google Forms is that uh, because you need to have a Google account uh, everything is going to be saved on your Google Drive uh, in our automatic so you don't have to like to save it though I mean every certain minutes maybe one or two minutes uh, is saved it is saved so that's excellent this is how you you might work with a listening section so on the next tutorial i'm going to explain how probably you can work on with with uh, with a writing section okay so stay tuned and um thank you for watching this tutorial until next time